Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about the Pareto distribution, its mean and variance. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So what is the Pareto distribution is there? We have seen that uh, any of the continuous random variable x is said to be the Pareto distribution of the type 1 if its PDF is defined like this way. You can see this alpha k raised to power alpha is a constant. So basically this is nothing but my inverse of the power law. So this is also now, this is basically based on the inverse power law earlier where k is represented as a scale parameters and the alpha is called as the shape parameter. It is also called as the tail index. What is the impact of the parameter k and alpha? We can easily see about that. So you can see this is my scale parameter. So when you take the different value of the k, k is 1, like say this is my k1, this is k2, this is k3 and so on. You can see the graphically are shifted towards the value of the k. When k is 1, this blue line is there. This is the red line for the k is equal to 2 and so on and it is look like say tail are there. Similarly, the impact of the parameter alpha, you can see this is a 0.5, 1 and 2, you can like this maybe. Why this alpha is called as the tail parameter, you can see it is to, uh, it is look like say as a tail of the distribution. Now based on this parameter distribution, how you can find the mean and the variance. So basically your target is to find the value of the ex and the value of the ex square minus ex whole square for this PDF. So in this, in this mean and variance, your target is to find the value of the ex and ex square. I can start with the journal that of exr. If I take r is 1, then this is my ex. If I take r is my 2, then it is my e of x square. Now I can substitute, this is the formula for the mean. Why it's a k to infinity, you can see the pdf mean start from the k to infinity. Now I can substitute the value of the fx here, what will get you with this. Since the integration is with respect to the x, so this part is my constant which can be taken as a outside and this I can taken as of this r minus alpha minus of 1. Now you can integrate this as a simple polynomial. How you can integrate them? It is nothing but x r minus alpha over here. Once we substitute infinity, this becomes a infinity. This, this x raised to power r minus alpha becomes infinity whenever r is greater than alpha and it's a 0 whenever r is less than of the alpha. So there are the two cases depending upon the value of r and the alpha. So we can say it's a 0 when it's r minus alpha is less than 0. Otherwise, it's an infinity. And when you will substitute k, it's a r minus a and so on. Now you can multiply them. What is that? This is k raised to power alpha. When you multiply them, k alpha will be cancelled out. So this is alpha k raised to power r upon alpha minus r provided alpha is less than of r. Now once you can find this expected value of x raised to power r, now you can substitute r is my 1, this is for r is 1 and this is for my r is 2. You can see alpha is greater than 1 for the ex and this is, what is that? This is nothing but my mean of the Pareto distribution. You can find the variance by using the ex square minus ex whole square, you can substitute this value. You can say alpha is common, this is k square is common. What is the remaining side? This is alpha minus 2 and this is alpha upon alpha minus 1 whole square. Now once you will open this bracket, you can take the LCM and once you will open this bracket, minus 2 alpha plus 1 minus alpha square plus of 2 alpha. You can see 2 alpha will be cancelled, alpha will be cancelled, it will be 1 upon alpha minus 2 and here. You can see this one. So this value is defined since this value is greater than 2, this is 1, so this is alpha is greater than of 2. Hence, this is the mean of the distribution that is here, this is the variance of the distribution is here. So what is the meaning of this uh, expression is whenever alpha is less than or equal to 1, what is the meaning of that variance it does not exist. Whenever alpha is less than or equal to 0, the mean of the Pareto distribution does not exist. So this is the way you can compute the mean and the variance of the Pareto distribution. We will see some more lectures on the Pareto distribution in our next class. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.